Enter the stars, and here we are, 88 days after the 88th day of the year, June 25th, 2020. So, I think it's appropriate now to talk more about the Joker and his girlfriend, Harley Quinn, who succumbed to the Joker's advances due to the Nightingale effect, which was mentioned in the film Back to the Future. So, we established already that Trump is the Joker. He is the Trump card. We saw him depicted as the catalyst for chaos in the 2019 film, The Joker, which was, of course, played by Joaquin Phoenix. And we're going to notice, as we go through today's show, lots and lots of the letter Q. There's a Q in Joaquin Phoenix's name. And... In that film, The Joker, we see the exact scenario that we're going through right now playing out. Now, that film released with 88 days left in the year in 2019, The Joker. We showed you also The Joker played by Jack Nicholson in another Batman movie. And he was spraying the people of New York or Gotham with gas from a smiley faced balloon under an eclipse moon and everybody was frantically struggling around to find their masks and we also showed you how these smiley faces are eclipses and that they kick off worldwide sacrificial events we saw yet another joker Played by Heath Ledger. Here it is right here. And of course. He's a nurse. And and basically detonates a hospital. Right? And. We know that in 2019. The WHO designated 2020. As the year of the Florence Nightingale nurse. On the Economist cover. And we also exposed, we're going to start calling it May Goggles. That's the new name of the company that runs YouTube. We're going to call it May Goggles, okay? Because even they are now sensitive to their own name in the algorithms. So we exposed how May Goggles 2019 Project Nightingale, which also foreshadowed the CV spamdemic. They were teaming up with one of the largest hospital systems in America to upload your personal medical data to the cloud without your knowledge. And then they then used that medical data to feed artificial intelligence algorithms to recommend diagnoses and treatments to your doctor through their interface. And we showed you how all this is happening right now under the Trump presidency. This is Ascension, Project Nightingale. They worked with Google. And even here, they recognize the year of the nurse, 200 years after Florence Nightingale birthday. They even acknowledge it. Many of you who work in the medical healthcare industry had lots of memos and chatter going around about the year of the nurse. But none of it came before the CV It all came after. But if you look back, they were already talking about this in mid-2019. The year of the nurse and Florence Nightingale. And now we see 2020 actually becoming the year of the nurse. We also showed you all the links between Back to the Future, Biff, and Trump. And... The Florence Nightingale effect being mentioned in that Back to the Future scene with Biff. And what is the Florence Nightingale effect? It's when nurses fall in love with their patients. Well, this morning, after that quick recap of what we've been learning, the rabbit hole just went into the fifth dimension. It seems that most nurses have to take what's called a Hippocratic Oath. The Florence Nightingale Pledge. This is it right here. The Florence Nightingale Pledge. Many of you who are nurses 
whom might remember taking this pledge. Something is happening, and it's not what we're being told in the mainstream media. Now, before we continue, everything that I just talked to you about is what I believe is called time slippage. And as we reach the end time singularity, the future, the past, and the present begin to run together. Now, this isn't the real timeline running together. This is the artificial intelligence timeline. As the AI scrambles to pre-program the masses, to steer thought, to steer consciousness of humanity, it begins to glitch. And it reveals too much too soon. And that's what we catch on this channel. It's all hindsight. We don't realize that we're that we pretty much already knew there was going to be a spamdemic three years ago in 2017. When we talked about the eclipses and the red balloons. We didn't know that that was going to happen. But we just started talking about it because we follow the Holy Spirit. And God tries to prepare his people and had people that were following his channel begin to prepare for what was to come. Maybe things would be a little bit different. We're seeing the forest from the trees. We're putting the puzzle pieces together that reveal the entire plan in action. And this is artificial intelligence time slippage. When everything begins to run together and they get sloppy. Now, this goes even deeper. Because now, I find out that the Joker's girlfriend fell in love with him because she was his psych doctor in a psych ward. And right here, they even call it the Florence Nightingale effect. Her name was Harley Quinn. They call her Harlequin. Let's look at some of this here. The Florence Nightingale effect. And we're going to get into the clip that I uploaded yesterday, but I wanted to set up this show appropriately. So... What is this from? Dr. Quinzel. Look at this. There's your Q again. Remember I told you the Q was going to keep making an appearance. And that's why we have Q, right? And here's the Joker. And they're talking about, this is the TV tropes. Quotes, the Florence Nightingale effect as Harlequin, the doctor, falls for the Joker. Here's another one. This TV trope actually mentions, let's make this bigger, Doc Brown's quote from Back to the Future talking about the Florence Nightingale effect. Maybe it's that they're so cute when they're helpless. Maybe it's that we really want to feel loved and protected when we're vulnerable. First aid is intimate. You have to lean in to pat a cut eyebrow with so there's this whole thing going on between uh, nurses and patients, okay? The Florence Nightingale effect. Now this is widely known, but if you've never heard of it before, this is new information. Here's Harley Quinn. This was the first appearance, one of the first appearances in this comic book. And she is known for falling for the Joker as his doctor, the Florence Nightingale effect. Mad Love. Now here's the actual sequence. Let's pull this up first. Here it is. This is the first appearance she makes. It's called Mad Love. Here's the comic. We're going to look at this comic. And December 14th, 1993. Here's the comic here. I still like to think he was aiming for my fanny and missed. At least that's what I told myself when I woke up in the hospital three days later. Three days. But hey, that's the downside of comedy. You're always taking shots from folks who just don't get the joke. So he's trying to get sympathy from the doctor. Here's Harley Quinn right there. These are the very beginnings of how she became what we know today as the Saucy Side Squad movie. We have to call it because you can't say that word on YouTube anymore. Or Batman. So she, she begins sympathizing with him. Thanks, Doc. I feel a lot better. Same time next week. Sure. 
Subject admits to abuse of childhood. Uh, blah, blah, blah. On to the next page. Now, by the time we're done with this, you're going to see how this becomes a metaphor for everything we're going through right now. Next page. In the weeks ahead, it soon became clear to me that the Joker, so often described as a raving homicidal madman, was nothing more than a tortured soul crying out for the love and acceptance. A lost child looking to make the world laugh at his antics. And there as always was the self-righteous Batman, determined to make life miserable for my angel. Yes, I admit, as unprofessional as it sounds, I had fallen in love with my patient. So there are the beginnings of Harlequin, for those of you that didn't know. This is what the entire film was based off of, this original comic. Now, here's the film. Saucy Side Squad. And, let's see, it's pulled up here. Here's the first one. Now, if you think about how this fits into the modern scenario, basically, Trump wanted us all to fall in love with the nurse heroes, right? This is why you see all these signs everywhere. The hospital staff, namely the nurses, have become the heroes of our American reality. At least that's what they want us to believe. And they he actually described this whole thing we went through as some kind of conflict. Like what would be like an overseas conflict, right? I can't say the words, but you know what I'm saying. And it was a battle, and we had to win this. This became Trump's battle, right? As he was pulling people out of the overseas, the, uh, the, the it now raged here on our own soil. So, this Saucy Side squad released 100 days Before, actually, let's pull this one up. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Where'd it go? This is the sequel. But the original released 100 days before Trump won the presidency. And the sequel here that you see will be released after the presidency if he, if he does not win re-election. So, basically, the two films couch the presidency one before and one after directly after there's something going on here because this film basically is a biography of Trump's life his presidency and what all, what we're all going through right now it's a big joke it's a big joke that no one understands that this all is being orchestrated now if you look at what the Harle Harley Quinn is the original Harley Quinn was a demon, a clown demon. Here's the Wikipedia article on the Harlequin and the history of it. It goes back hundreds of years, and it's a clown demon. And they wore these diamond-shaped pattern clown suits. Here it is right here, some pictures of the Harlequin. This is what they look like. This is what it's all based on. And, of course, you see the mask. See how all this is fitting in now? The masked Harlequin. And we're all being masked right now. Now. Let's take a look at the opening scene of the Saucy Side Squad. Because I found something pretty crazy. And I uploaded this yesterday. And what you're going to see here in this promo image here is the tiger on her chest. And that would be like the tiger on the back in the girl in iPad Go 2. Let's play this through. Now some of you were disturbed at some of these images and so we'll fast forward through them. But the point here is to understand that Jared Leto plays the Joker. And he was born on Apollo's birthday. The solar eclipse that happened that kicked off the CV in China. 
how many synchronicities do we need to see before we understand exactly what's going on here? How many times have you heard me say on this channel, the Apollo's birthday, December 25th, and the solar eclipse of December 26th in China that happened on our December 25th because we're on the other side of the world and how this kicked everything off. How many times have we mentioned this? And here it pops up again in Jared Leto's birthday, who played the Joker. Remember, this was 2016, you guys. And there's the December 26th smiley face eclipse. And of course, the smiley face is the logo of the Saucy Side Squad. It's the logo. X-I-X. -X, which in Roman numerals is 19. And the eclipse was in 2019. Can you see the I in the nose? X-I-X. -X, that's 19. They knew. Now, we're not going to decode the entire film. That's not why we're here today. We're not going to decode the entire film of the Saucy Side Squad because we don't really need to. Because the film picks up long after she falls in love with the Joker due to the Florence Nightingale effect. But watch this. You're going to hear the House of the Rising Sun play by the animal. Or what is it? The uh, What do you call it? What is the name of this group? Now, this song was by, I thought I had all this pulled up already. Let's go over here. House of the Rising Sun. This is crazy. Here it is here, the House of the Rising Sun, the animals, okay, and again sun worship apollo so this would be an appropriate song now what we're looking at here is the opening scenes of the saucy side squad from 2016 100 days before trump won the election and here is the song that's playing let's go to the wikipedia here and this song you're going to see was it was covered by lots and lots of bands not just the animals one band in particular watch this look at this it's all in pink right this is the animals the house of the rising sun all in pink and there was another band that covered it called freed pink accident Remember all the Pink Floyd stuff we've been covering? Freaged Pink. All right. They covered it in March of 1970. Now follow me on this because this is crazy. Because you're going to hear something here. Listen very carefully. So the story goes, Will Smith is in this like lockdown, right? Uh, you can call it quarantine if you want. And along with it, it's a, like a high security uh, prison of some type. They call it a black site, right? You can see what's on your screen there, right? Think about this. Think about all of how this fits into what we're going through right now. 2016, you guys. This is called a black site, right? And they're playing House of the Rising Sun. There's your serpent. 
wrapped around the bars, which was the uh, logo for GF, right? Think of GF now. You know what I'm talking about. Help people out in the chat if they don't know what I'm saying. But there was a logo of a snake wrapped around a cross. And there you see it there. This is a double cross though, right? Look, you can almost see it there. There's the cross and two bars, double cross. Now, his character's name is F-L-O-Y-D. Wow. It's dinner time. That means, okay, we're going to put out the bait. It's dinner time for at the black site. Okay? Follow me on this. This is just this is on a spiritual level. The subliminal spiritual sorcery that's happening right here. Many, many of you saw this film, but you had no idea that it was going to tie directly into what we're going through right now. Dinner time. They put out the bait for the people of a certain color, right? Watch. And there he is with the baton around the neck. Now, if I could make all this up, then that would be crazy, right? But you can't. You can't make this up. There's something, there's some phenomenon occurring. And it's not life imitating art. That's not what's happening here. It's intentionally done by the enemy. And it's seeded into everything that you watch. Commercials, TVs, you can't escape it. It's just going to be there. When you go on Amazon to order things online, it's going to be there. When you watch a commercial, it's going to be there. When Anything that you see through your device is loaded with this. And this is why enough people can't wake up. Because they've been brainwashed by the algorithms. This is exactly what happened, you guys. Dinner time. Take the bait. Friends call me Floyd. 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 You ain't got no friends, Floyd. That is called loaf. Now, they gave him loaf. Now, that's. We're going to look into that on another show, but there are uh, ties to what they used to feed the. S L A V E S. Okay? You seeing this now? Is it becoming clear? I hope it is. Lord, Lord, Lord. It's got a little bit of pisketti in there. Toenails. Toenails. Reference to being kicked in the face or having a, maybe a possibly a knee on your neck. <laughs> One day. Somehow, one day somehow I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna rain down and I'm gonna you. rain down on you like the like Holy the Ghost. Whole. So there's the call to action. There's the call to action to the people of color to do exactly what they're doing right now. It was all subliminally seated into this film. With the name and the the aspect of race between Will Smith and the security guard. The choking of the neck. Holy Ghost. Lord, Lord, Lord. Man, you just threatened a staff member. Yeah. Yeah, you have. Do something. Let's have some fun. Lord, Lord, Lord. Now, look at it. It says D108, D107, D109. There's your 19. And then in the next scene, it says C. So basically, there's your C18. So subliminally, your mind's going to fill in the blanks, and it's going to be C19, which is what we're dealing with right now. There's your quarantine prison. It's the same thing, lockdown. That's exactly what we're experiencing right now. It was all foreshadowed and foretold. And that's actually Harley Quinn in the in the cage here, the Joker's girlfriend. So she's the nurse, right? 
in lockdown in the hospitals. This is the criminally insane. So that's another metaphor. The nurses locked into the hospitals. That's Harlequin. And if you think about the name of the film, Saucy Side Squad, that's what Trump said is going to happen. He spoke it. He said, you have no idea what's going to happen. There is going to be mass saucy sides. And there's going to be a lot of it, is what he said. Because he knows, he's part of it. So, as promised, we decoded this montage. It is Monday. I mean, uh, tomorrow. It's today. And that's the decode for today. We'll be back on tomorrow with... What are we doing tomorrow? The hijab connection. I actually call it something different. Let's go over here. Show you guys this. So, many of you remember this scene from iPad Go 2, which is that animated film. Oh, this is appropriate time to talk about this too, because this film actually released on today's anniversary. 88 days after the 88th day of the year, but back in 2012. So that was, whoa, that was eight years ago. Can you believe that? About the time I started my YouTube channel here. And this is when it released. Some, some people, There's up for debate. Some people say it released on the 24th of June. But the information that I had says that this released on the 25th of June. So we are on today's anniversary of iPad Go 2 from 2012. 88 days after the 88th day of the year. That was one of the first clues that I actually saw that made me want to decode iPad Go so we're going to be on here tomorrow and talk about Cry Later. See the sad face on this woman? The eclipse halo. The partial eclipse in the background here. Which many people thought was some kind of explosion. But it actually probably is an eclipse. And so we're going to be back on here tomorrow to break all that down and how there is an Islamic component to the forcing of the wearing of the masks. And there's also a, we're going to call it Sharon Leah, Sharon Leah Law in America is what I believe they're trying to force on us. These are the, the first parts of it. Okay. And we're going to break down the scene, which seems to signal the 2020 summer solstice cry later eclipse that would enslave the world in masks. And then on Monday, we're going to look at the British series Utopia. And to date, I believe that this series is one of the most accurate pre predictive programming that I've ever seen in a series. And it's happening right now series came out in 2013-2014 and yet it foreshadows almost exactly to the T everything we're going through right now. Let me go back into the show here and uh, see what you guys are up to. This chat catch up. Right on. Now, before we end today's show... There were a few people that appeared disturbed by some of the visual imagery on the, the trailer that I uploaded yesterday of Jared Leto as the Joker. And I've, I just want to talk to you a little bit about that. Because if that scares you, then you won't stand a chance in the end times with what's coming and what you're going to see. You're going to give in almost immediately when you start to see some of the things that are coming down the pipe. I'm telling you with all the love and sincerity in the world. You will see things that if you're not strong, the Bible says that your heart will fail out of fear. It's written right into the Bible. Unless your faith is strong. 
so it might be a great time to start practicing now. Now I've talked a little bit about this before, but this demon meme, I call it, and that's what it is, it's just a meme. It's been created by the devil himself. And what it does is it holds a form of power and fear over you if you let it. I shared with many of you that the first part of my life, the first half of my life, I was cowering in fear to the demon meme. Afraid of the dark, afraid of an empty house, afraid of all this fear, right? Night terrors, fear of demonic images, demonic movies. There were certain movies I just couldn't watch because it would stay with me for days. And I realized after through my search for the truth that this was all instilled in me by my Christian religious fear meme. Handed down from parents. But once I started seeking the truth, all of it disappeared. I remember being in the middle of a night terror and just realizing none of it was real. And this feeling of peace coming over me that what, what I perceived as fear had no power if I didn't let it. And once you come to that realization that this demon meme is just simply, the devil created this. It's a smoke and mirrors image. It's an archetype that's supposed to scare you. It's designed that way. And if you let it scare you, it will. And until you realize that you have the power to tread on serpents and that the devil is powerless in the face of full faith, you will be a prisoner. The devil will hold a part of you. He will have a partial power over you unless you let that go. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, if you would have met me 25 years ago, I was afraid. I had a fear. And as soon as I started waking up, all that goes away. So if you, if you find yourself troubled by images, you guys... We're coming into a time where you're going to see all kinds of crazy stuff. Don't let the devil have power over you. Have no fear. Understand that God has your back. And that a lot of this horrific imagery that we see of the devil, it's just him grandstanding and smoke and mirrors. And he's trying, he wants you to feel that way about it. That's why he creates these sick, evil images. You got to let that go. Practice. When you start feeling that fear, pray to God. Say, God, help these images not affect me the way they do. Because think about it. Think about what Je was Jesus cowering in fear? Standing in front of the Pharisees, which no doubt were very demonic. Of course he wasn't. He stood strong. He spoke proudly. And so you should have that faith. You got to work on your faith if these things bother you. Because here's the thing, the devil's going to hide. That's his little corner to hide in. Oh, they still fear me. I got them. I can still deceive them somehow through fear. Because think about it. If there's demons running around, are you going to be one of those people that are so freaked out you're just going to do yourself? I hope not. Or jump off, you know, jump off a bridge or something. That's not what God wants you to do. You stand you look that demon in the eye say, you have no power over me. Get behind me, Satan. Okay, And in our analysis of this, think about this. The demon's hiding behind the Joker right now. If you're afraid of the Joker and that face meme, if you're afraid of that, then you've just lost 20% of the truth because you don't even realize that Trump is the Joker. You don't even realize that he's walking us right down a path of totalitarianism, of 5G wisdom beyond, the technocratic fence, the prison, we're all going there if we don't all wake up. And then things are going to get a lot harder. A lot harder than you know. When you can't get on a plane and fly to see your loved ones because you don't take you won't take the, the VC. And then your mind starts going. You're like, maybe I should just take it. You don't want to be that person. Trust me. You need to shake that off. I'm here to help you do it. I don't show you guys things just to show you things just because it has shock value and 
it's there's a purpose to it so that it, the, you will see what you're seeing and understand what's going on so all right let's go in here into the chat and see what's going on with you guys hopefully all that made sense all right you guys have any questions about what we just covered D imagine seven 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 says so are things better with Biden? Of course not. You're still in the right left paradigm. You, if you if you're saying things like, well, he's better than Biden, you're still in the right left paradigm. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's just frustrating. I don't know how many times I have to say this. I know most of you are are out of it, but I keep hearing people say that, and it's just like you're still in the right left paradigm. Understand that your vote does not matter. And if you're thinking in those terms of this person's better, that person's better, they're all on the same side. You're going to be deceived. The best thing you can do is back the car out of the garage and step away from all the emotion that you're investing in this fake duel that's going on before your eyes in the media. Just take a step back and, okay, they just did a humiliation ritual with the NASCAR guy. Okay. First, they showed a very confident black man saying, NASCAR, we need to do away with the sea flag. And everybody was on his side, right? Oh, it's great. See, okay, so you're buying into the emotion of this, right? And wow, man, what a brave guy. The only black guy in NASCAR. And he's going to, he's he's trying to help everything. He's trying to do away with these symbols. So they got you to try to buy into that. Then they came out later and said all that was was, a rope that was used to pull down the garage. And it was there before he even came out to NASCAR to park his car in the garage. Then they show the guy crying and upset. And then you got black people going, well, that's why this is all still crazy. Because we've got these images in our mind. And we're going to see him. So we're still on his side. You see what it's doing. It's ridiculous. And if you're still saying things like, oh, he's better than Biden, I got to vote, you know, you're still in the paradigm. You got to flush the toilet on the whole thing. And until you do, you will be deceived. I'm sorry to say, that's just it. I've tried to demonstrate that to you guys over the years. We've been through several presidencies on this channel. We went through Bush presidency, we went through Obama presidency, and we went through now the Trump presidency. And I've showed you every single time. Look back on the channel. You'll see lots and lots of videos about Obama. Obama was the Lion King. I showed you guys that. Nala. Even his kids are named after the characters in the, in, in the, in the Lion King. When you scramble their names. Uh, Coming to America. That was the foreshadowing of the Obama presidency. We've got all these decodes on that. Don't think this is a Trump hate channel. This is exposing the establishment for what it is. And what they do, they use these people as puppets on the right and the left to control our minds. Government is mind control. That's what it is. They do it through dualism, duality, the checkerboard floor, whatever you want to call it. They get us fighting with each other. The media is part of it. They help because they keep pushing the right-left paradigm, the narratives. The more drama, the better, because that's how you can divide people the best. The best odds in Vegas are 50-50. That's how Vegas makes money. If everything is completely divided, perfectly in half. And that's how America is run, on Vegas odds. I hope this is getting through to some people. Because there are a lot of you. And it's sad for me to see friends that I've known for years here on YouTube now jumping on the Trump train and you know who you are I don't know why you're doing it but that's shady we've shown you guys we showed you how he strategically picked the place where he had his debut rally 
in a place that he knew was steeped in racial division. And we showed you the history of what happened there and how the arena was smack dab in the middle of graves, unmarked graves. And that there were ROITS happening in that very area, just yards away from the arena where lots of people of color died. Black Wall Street. And then some people said, you took the race bait. I go, no, you're not understanding the point. The point is to demonstrate to you how both sides are stoking the divide so that all of us will be divided. I was calling him out for doing that. Because it happens on both sides of race baiting. Now, that never made the mainstream news about where he held his rally in Tulsa and the history of that place. But make no mistake, the people in Tulsa know the history of what happened there. It's part of their history. And him holding that there, all that it did was divide people of color even more. Because there are the people of color up on stage behind Trump. And in the rally, and then there that they were the ones that are blinded, and then there was the people that live in Tulsa of color who know the history of what happened there, and that just furthers and gets fuel to the BLM and all that stuff. That's what I was trying to demonstrate to you, and sometimes I get a little long winded, but understand that I don't give in to the racial divide and the right left paradigm. But I understand that there is a paradigm raging just beneath the surface. Trump pushes it and the left pushes it. That's what's going on right now. There's an operation happening right now to divide this country by color. Make no mistake. Until you wake up to that, you're going to be deceived. So, that is what I was trying to get across and that's what we're talking about today. This is why when people come on the channel and they say, oh, you're just a Trump hater, you're just going to get deleted immediately. Because that means you haven't been watching the channel. As I've, I've explained this ad nauseum over and over again. So you're, what you're doing is you're lying about me and spreading disinformation about my channel. So you'll get deleted. So if you want to have a discussion about things, we can do that. I've been wrong a few times. And I'll acknowledge that mistake. Most of the time, though, we're right over the t right over the target. Okay, let's go in the chat again. I'm talking just to talk. All right, just reading your guys' chat here. What are you guys talking about? It's a scorcher out here today. It's already in the 80s. If you delete someone because you haven't watched the channel, that's kind of counterproductive, says Susie. Well, then they shouldn't attack. Think about it. It's so funny because people, some people come on here and they start the comment out with an attack. And they expect that I'm not going to respond to that. And then, or when I meet them with logic, they get upset at me. I'm like, L read your original comment. You know, if you can't dish it out, if you can't take it, don't dish it out. Okay, that's all I can say. Now, if you want to come here with, uh, if you want to say, you know, um, it appears as though you may be picking on Trump. Is there a reason why you might be focused on him? That would be a legitimate comment. Then I can explain to you. But people come out, they start their comment out with an attack. I'm not going to put up with that. It doesn't work that way. You're, you're in my house when you're on my channel. I'm not in Texas, OG. I'm in Connecticut. Doesn't spread the hate further because I'm not hating anyone. I'm just speaking facts on this channel. I just told you Trump is no more a racist than, than the left. They all, and it's not about color, they just use that as a tool. So... Yeah, there was that commercial that uh, says so and are... Sheep standing on pillars, they have the numbers 11 and 9 written. And he was elected. Yep, you got it. That was a, uh, ma I think it was a mattress commercial that he was in. So. I don't hate anybody. 
And look, you can come on here and say you still like Trump. I'm not going to delete you for that. That's fine. Just let's all be nice to each other, you know? That's what this is what it's about. We can have a discussion about things. Yeah, I've warned people it's up to them now. Billionaire Club, absolutely. John Durham's from Connecticut. Yep, you're right. You're right, Lisa. Yeah, they're just, they're actors. They're all actors. Check out Northern Maine, Prairie and Sea Guidance. What's going on up there? It's a little bit cold up there in the winter. Joker is hiding behind orange makeup, period. Exactly. Stanford here, says Cheryl. That's cool. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, it does, but, you know, people have such a short attention span sometimes that uh, they don't get even get to any part of the body work on this channel and, and it's it's a little discouraging sometimes you know um but we just keep trudging on you know that's why we do we put up information every day during the week if you're new to the channel um you know we're we're live every day in the morning during the week or try to be sometimes I'll take Friday off but there's a lot of a lot of body of work on this channel demonstrating the, the continuity of how all this fits together. Yeah, the guy from uh, the guy who wrote Back to the Future even admits that he based the character on Trump. This was back in the '80s, you guys. This was the number one franchise film franchise in film history. Back to the Future was it, and it was based on Trump. Biff Tannen? The guy admits it? This is crazy. Back in the 80s when Trump was a nobody. So they're they're telling you. They're telling you. 1984. All about Trump. Now I'll put links in the pen comment. Usually it takes me about 30 minutes after the show to get those links up. So if you don't see the links in the pen comment right away... Um, just, you know. Now, look, just as people of color have taken the bait, the people of non-color have also taken the Trump bait. Why? Because of division. Remember we talked about yesterday how, um, you know, all of this was based off of Trump and Obama. They're just two sides to the same coin. That's exactly what they are. That's why they had the presidencies go back to back like that. Obama was the finesse player and Trump was the blunt in instrument appealing to getting back at Obama, right? You guys, I don't know how people don't understand how we've been played. I mean, it's so obvious to me. And they picked Trump for a reason. This is why he's so effective. And the, the, the people of non-color took the bait. Just like the people of color are taking the bait right now. Right? To get even. You're being played. You're a puppet on a string. Step away. Back the car out of the garage. And see the forest from the trees. Look across the last five or six presidencies and understand that nothing's changed and nothing ever will change. No matter who's in the White House. Understand that you're spending all your time disliking 50% of the country because of what you've been fed in the media. Because of what you've been lied to and told. And this is why nothing ever gets done. This is why we're not looking at them. Because we keep looking at each other. Instead of looking at them and saying, Wow. That's the problem. It's what they're feeding us. Now, I'm a firm believer that artificial intelligence has a big part in this. Some kind of feedback mechanism. They're plugging in data. And out comes a literal 
some kind of readout on a screen or paper. It's probably some weird like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory thing where this, this slip of paper comes out. And it tells them exactly how to manipulate us. It's all calculated on some kind of a, a algorithm. A program. And out of that readout comes movie scripts. Comes how to cast roles in films. Commercials. Products that they're going to bring to market. I believe it's all controlled by this mainframe. Now I don't know this. But I've seen too many synchronicities and too many foreshadowings. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of foreshadowings that we've covered on this channel for the last eight years. There's been way too many. And they cross all boundaries. They go from, how is it that you're going to find a synchronicity between a comedy film, a science fiction film, and a love story? Three separate films, three separate producers, three separate writers. But yet, you see this continuity between the three. Now you can call me crazy, but I think we've done a good job of de demonstrating this over the last eight years. How can that happen? It's because it's being kicked out by something. Some kind of algorithm. Some kind of spirit behind it. And you, we're just all consuming this stuff every single day. We're sucking it right up. With a wide mouth straw. And it's like nobody cares. They attack me and say, Case, you're going too deep into the occult. This, I'm not going anywhere into anything. I'm simply showing you what the true meaning is behind everything that you're taking in. And you need to know that. Because if you don't know it, you're going to fall prey to it. You're going to become a victim to the deception. If you just sit there and take all the, and consume all this data... The apps on your phone, video games, all of it has these themes running through it. These subjects. And I only cover three or four of them. Why? Because I like science fiction. I'm not into love stories, but the few times I've looked at comedies or love stories, they got the same themes running through them. Now, if I looked at all the different films and all the different genres, you would be shocked. Then it might sink in. If I was into gaming, you would see the themes. Now, some of you are into some of those other genres. And you've left comments. So, a good idea, if you're doubting what I'm putting down, is to go into the comment section and begin to read. And there are people that are into gaming, for instance. They go, Casey, this ties into gaming. We had the same exact thing. We had smiley faces in this game. And it was talking about disease. Or, you know, like, all these synchronicities. But if you just, if this is called seeing the forest from the trees, it's called standing back, backing the car out of the right left paradigm and looking at the entire forest. And then you can see your way because you're seeing all of the programming across all of the genres of media. And at the top of that is May Goggles. So, there you go, in a nutshell. Now, many of you are not into it, but understand that if you have a cell phone in your hand, parts of it are touching you that you don't even know. It's in the apps on your phone. It's in commercials on television, if you have a television. It's in signage. It's all around you. That's why Christ said, you can live in the world, but be no part of the world. Don't love the world. Because if you love the world, you will fall victim to this. This is why people say, why are you so negative? I'm not negative. I'm just, don't love the world. I'm following what Jesus actually said. You know, some of these channels come across so, they try to be so positive. Well, you're living a lie. Once again, Jesus says, don't love this world. The only people we're supposed to love is each other. And that's what Jesus' example was. He went out and loved people. He didn't love the system. If you're finding yourself loving the system and saying, oh, God bless America and I love America and I love this and I love that about America and we're so free and all this stuff, you're loving the world. You're doing exactly the opposite of what Jesus told you to do. And you need to pray about that and do a gut check. And yeah, it does suck waking up every day not liking the situation you're in. But that's why we have each other. 
And if you're feeling like I don't, you don't have anything, then get into other people. Love each other more, which is what Jesus told us to do. You shouldn't be loving this world. Now, you can love like land, and you can love independence from the world. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create an example for you guys. But that's a very, very narrow road. Not many people go down that road. And you could be hated for that. But Jesus said we'd be hated. Did he not? All right. How's the sound, you guys? This will be the last time I adjust this mic. I think we nailed it. I boosted it a little bit. A little bit more from yesterday. I just hope it's not like... Uh, Blowing you guys out right now. I hope the sounds okay. I'll just wait for a response on that, and we'll probably end the show after that. Sound is great. Thanks, Rebecca. Now, Monday is going to be a crazy. I'm into the third episode of this. TV series called Utopia and they mention Kovat as the company it sounds just it sounds just like CV it's called Kovat literally and they talk about a non contagious biological entity that really wasn't making the people sick but the cure was I mean, how much clearer does it have to be for people? But yet, people still love Hollywood. They still love the world. They still love movies. They still understand that the people that are creating all of this, your entire reality, your digital reality, is the enemy himself. He's at the top of all of it. Right above Magoggles. And... The sooner you understand that, the better off you'll be. How do you counter that? Nature. Nature is God's. Just step outside of the digital and step into the natural. That will give you immediate relief. If you need to go to a park. L listen. Why do you think they took down basketball nets? And removed park benches and filled in skate parks with sand. Because they want you in the digital. They want you in the digital. The best thing you can do if you're feeling lost, you're feeling depressed. Step out of the digital and into the natural. Do it. Trust me, you will feel so much better. Use that time to be with God. Walk in the wilderness. Pray. Do your praying there. You're not going to be able to have a good prayer sitting next to your cell phone with the alerts going off. Leave it at home. Go take a walk in a park. Find a quiet place by yourself. These are the instructions that Jesus gave us. Go into a dark place to pray. This is where he went. Open the Bible. You'll see it. 70 to 80 percent of the time that Jesus prayed, he went alone or in a dark place. Go into the natural. This is where you'll find God. Refresh, breathe in, pray. You'll feel a million times better about the future. Know that God has all of this under control. Pray that you're not deceived or talked into anything that will disappoint God, and you're going to be fine. That's the end of it. No need to be afraid. All right. I think that's a good time to finish up here. Look like we've gone about an hour. I love each and every one of you. See you on here tomorrow. Take care and be safe.